optimization report for your website. This free report will give you practical steps to increase your search ranking. It's our gift to you from Brick City Interactive. Call us today at 352-351-1131 or visit us online at BrickCity.com. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, five minutes after 11 o'clock, Nicola Kornick is on the phone. She's an historian. She works for the National Trust as a guide at the 17th Century Hunting Lodge Ashdown House in Oxfordshire. Robin, have you finished reading her book, House of Shadows? Yes, I have. I think it's absolutely wonderful. I just started. <laughs> you know something? What? My boss is going to say, am I paying you to read a book? Yeah, right. And you know what I'm going to say? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, you are. <laughs> But it's awesome. The location of the book is where she works. So it, that is so cool. it, I, I know. You know what? And, and I had to kind of Amazing. look twice to make sure I, I didn't misunderstand that. But uh -huh. this is definitely one of those books that you're going to want to read probably again after you've finished reading it. Uh, it's just such a well done story. Uh, Nicola Cornick, good morning. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a real pleasure to be talking to you. Uh, where are you? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from just down the road from Ashdown House, actually, from Oxfordshire, from England. Oh, my <laughs> nice. gosh. I want to come over there. I want to see this place. Is there really a pearl hidden somewhere in there? Uh, well, there could be. I mean, it's <laughs> waiting to be found, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, so have you worked there a long time, and did the story come to you as you're, like, like did the spirits of the house talk to you or something? Yes. I mean, I've worked there for 15 years, so um, I've, I've known the place such a long time um, and there's something really special about Ashdown it it just uh, everybody who goes there says it's there's something magical about it I always wanted to write the story um, of the history of the house um, and yes and House of Shadows was the result it's kind of the book, like the book of my dreams really yeah yeah you, you know in, in a way you, you make us realize and I don't know that that's the right word realize but you make us feel that we as human beings are the spirit of a house whether you're not and i'm not be trying to be spiritual in any way but i mean when we're in the house like the house mm -hmm. i go to that i grew up in as a kid that spirit is mm -hmm. gone i was part of that spirit now there's a new spirit living in it so the house is like the body and we're like the spirits yes that's a really interesting way of, of looking at that i think that's right but just because um that changes and a new spirit comes along that's all part of the story of that house isn't it so yes, yes. That's, you're part of that continuing story which is fantastic i think yeah because the house i grew up in we didn't hide a pearl but we buried a bathtub in the backyard <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <And I'm, laughs> is it still there <laughs> and it's probably still there and i'm thinking one day some kid's gonna be digging and say hey dad there's a bathtub back here <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, tell me about the book. How long ago did you start writing it? Um, well, it took me about, uh, well, I've re been researching it for years and years and years. Um, so about 12 years ago, I decided I was going to write it. Um, and then it, uh, it took me a couple of years to write as well. But I got there in the end. And, uh, and, I'm, and uh, thank you so much uh, to Robin and to you. I'm really thrilled that you like it. Um, it's, I mean, I think it is, it's a special book to me, and I hope that, uh, that other people love it as much as I do. You know, I, I didn't realize how much of a superstar you are in, in the literature world. I mean, you have a <laughs> load of books out there. <laughs> You're a marvelous writer. I love Yes, I've been writing. Oh, thank you. I mean, I've been writing for 20 years. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've built up quite a few books out there. But, uh, yeah, this one, this one is, is really special to me. So it's great to see that, that coming out as well. I love that the book uh, spans different lifetimes. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, it's it's quite an interesting idea, isn't it? To um, to take those sort of and interweave them with each other. I I really enjoyed doing that, but it's quite hard for somebody like me who's not good good at, at plotting a book uh, to to make sure that I don't trip myself up with <laughs> different interwoven storylines. It's really tricky. So, is it harder to write a non-romantic relationship than a romantic relationship? Oh, that's interesting. Um, 
Uh, no, I think it's it's different. I mean, I do like writing romantic relationships because I think they are endlessly fascinating. But other other relationships, I mean, the, the same thing applies. You've just got you've you've just got so much potential, haven't you? It's just um, a question of, of what particular aspect you're going to explore. Mm-hmm. So being able to do the the two different things in the book, I think, was was quite exciting. It was a nice contrast to have a love story in there, but also to have other other threads of stories going on as well. Yeah. I love the notorious courtesan. I mean, I've, I've always <laughs> wanted to be one, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. That would be exciting for a few days. <laughs> the notorious courtesan. <laughs> that perked up your ears. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I feel like I'm left out of a joke here. Uh, N- N- Nicola, uh, so so uh, I found the book on Amazon. You have a following. My gosh. Like I said, you're a superstar. So um, uh, do you have a website of your own? Yes, yes. Um, I've got uh, www.nicolacornick.com. Uh, and I love talking to readers and people who are interested in history and writing and, well, anything really. And I'm on Twitter and Facebook as well, so people can, can find me there. Um, so, yes, I mean, I, it's, it's just fantastic that so many readers uh, enjoy the books. So I'm, I'm so grateful to them. And we love reading books like this. I, I, I don't know how to explain to you this thought, but I uh, there are two kinds of books, I guess. Those that tell a wonderful story. And those that have some kind of an ulterior motive, either it's a political position or, or uh, mm. I, I just a, I just love a really well told story. Mm, mm. Yes, well, I guess you can find that in all kinds of different genres as well, can't you? So whether it's a, a sort of a page turning novel or something political and uh, engrossing, I think that's the, the wonderful thing about a show where you can talk about all kinds of different books. Actually, right, uh, right. I was listening. I've, I've been listening to you on YouTube, so. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can't get the, I can't get you on the radio over here. So that was the next best thing. So it was great. I really enjoyed it. Uh, what is one of your most favorite personalities to write for when you create your characters? Oh, um, well, oh, that, that's yeah, that's very difficult because I I'm writing I'm writing um, uh, Elizabeth the First, Queen Elizabeth the First, at the moment for the book oh. I'm writing at the moment. And I really like that personality because she's quite, obviously, I like writing strong women. So she's a very strong woman, but she's also got lots of other interesting characteristics. She's quite vain um, and she likes a lot of attention. Um, and, and that's quite fun. She's like a sort of a, a, a celebrity of her time, I suppose. So I really, I really love that. Uh, but I do, I do like, um, I do particularly like writing about historical women who were very influential in their time. But who may have been forgotten about, like Elizabeth in the in House of Shadows. Mm-hmm. So um, that particularly is is the kind of thing I like bringing out the things that they achieved and and and, and what they did because they were you know in a man's world really. So it was difficult for them, but uh, but that I really love exploring that. Uh, the book is called House of Shadows. You are going to love it. I have a copy of it that Nicola sent to us, so uh, I will give the copy away that I have, uh, and then I'll go buy my own because I, I don't want to let this one go. Are you the vo- are you the voice on the uh, audio book, by the way? Me, no, sadly not. But I think they're maybe doing that better than I could do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd love to have a try, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to have you. I, see, I, I know probably everybody in America tells you this, but I just love the way you talk. Oh, thank you very much. I, I think, well, I like the way you talk, you see. It's just, it, it's really? Just, it's just, it, well, yes, because it's, it's kind of different for us, isn't it? And uh, so, yeah, I, I, could, I could listen to it a long time. Can you t- <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to talk like you. You try to talk like me. Who should go first? All right. Go ahead. I've not, I've just, I've, I just haven't got that. I haven't got a talent for that sort of thing. All right, I'll, gi- I'll, give, but, you a, I'll, I'll give you a sentence. I'm going to go to the store. Okay, go ahead. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna go to the store. No, it's rubbish. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, now, I, I'm, yeah, now, now, let me try. To, now, you give me a sentence. Let me see if I can do you. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to go up the road and visit Ashdown House. I'm going to go up the road and visit Ashdown House. How did I do? Oh yes, you sounded quite like uh, quite like Prince Philip there. <laughs> 
got a career in a voiceover for Prince Philip now. <laughs> oh, my God. Very good. Oh, this is fun. You are fun. Okay, well, now I'm going to have to visit. Uh, Nicola Cornick, thank you. You're a lot of fun. The, the website is nicolacornick.co.uk. Uh, and of course, I found the book House of Shadows on Amazon and, and like a thousand other books that Nicola has written. She's uh, wonderful. Nicola, thank you so much. You have two new fans right here in this studio. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we will be right back. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Wednesday, times of sun and clouds with a morning shower in spots along the coast. Dry elsewhere, the high 85 at the coast, 90 inland. Partly cloudy winds tonight, lows in the mid and upper 60s in the coolest inland locations to 75 on the coast. Thursday will be partly sunny. There can be a shower or two in the afternoon along the coast. The high 84 at the coast to 89 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, IOAs, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at Powell G. 